coming this Black Friday to Kindle and e-readers everywhere. From the author of A Simp Truth, Stop Simping, Why Men Don't Need Finance to Get Romance, Vanginas, They Look Like Men But They Act Like Ladies, and The Misadventures of Captain Saber Who Comes, Stop Simping in the Workplace. Learn what mistakes not to make in the workplace with women. Protect your job in Stop Simping in the Workplace. Pre-order your copy on e-readers today. Why should you pick up my new ebook, Stop Simping in the Workplace? Because Stop Simping in the Workplace is going to teach men and young boys the soft skills they're going to need to understand on how to navigate the workplace in their interactions with women. Most men who go to college, yes, they get an academic education. However, they don't get an education in the soft skills a man needs in order to navigate the modern day workplace. And the workplace has changed quite a bit over the last 40 years. In today's modern day workplace, it is a gynocentric environment. And that means it is an environment primarily designed to serve females. Most of the policies in the workplace are designed to benefit females. And if a man does not know how to navigate the workplace, in many cases, he may wind up falling into pitfalls whenever he interacts with women in the workplace or if he managed to, unfortunately, to fall into a trap laid for him by a predatory female in the workplace. And in Stop Simping in the Workplace, I primarily lay out a course of action for men to take in the workplace when they interact with women. And the reason why I lay this whole plan of action out is because most men, pretty much, they are the only ones who can provide for themselves. If a man does not work, a man does not eat. And this is why he needs to understand how to lay out a course for himself in the workplace to protect himself from predatory females and from a gynocentric work environment, which is primarily designed to work against him and not for him. A man has to learn how to put himself first and put his needs first when the workplace, because the only person, again, taking care of a man in the workplace is himself. And if a man does not make efforts to protect himself or his assets, he will wind up becoming a targeted by predatory females in the workplace who will try to use him as a stepping stone to move themselves ahead at his expense. These types of predatory females will have these men doing their work for them and have them doing things that are outside of their job description. And a man has to learn how to put himself first, set a course for his career, and set boundaries for the people he interacts with. Moreover, he has to learn what predators are in the workplace besides predatory females, such as workplace manginas, workplace and other workplace simps like $30,000 millionaires, and peacocks, and vagina hounds. And he has to learn how to avoid these types of males who can pretty much, again, derail his career. And I go in depth with all these workplace simps and workplace environment situations in Stop Simping in the Workplace. Now, my, what qualifies me to write Stop Simping in the Workplace is the fact that I worked at the Strive Job Readiness Workshop, the nation's leading workshop from 2000 to 2001 as part of the AmeriCorps VISTA program. And when I was at the AmeriCorps VISTA program at Strive, I learned a lot about job readiness and I learned a lot about all the mistakes many men make in the workplace from interacting with the workplace um, on work pro I mean program participants, many of whom were ex-offenders, drug addicts, homeless, um, and long-term unemployed. And I also learned from the staff, which in many which was highly turning over because a lot of the males were making quite a few of the mistakes many of the program participants were making. And when I was looking at the way these males were interacting with the women, I pretty much started to understand that you really need to lay out a uh, have a protocol for how you interact with women in the workplace and you need to have a social um, program to protect yourself from predatory females you have to quickly identify what is a predatory female and you have to have a protocol for when how you interact with females in the workplace because what happens with many men is that they walk into the work environment and they think they can interact with the women in the workplace in the same way they interact with women on the street or in other personal social situations. And because they do not know how to be professional in a social situation with a female, they often wind up getting caught up 
in cases of sexual harassment or that can pretty much cost them their jobs and their careers. And a man has to, again, understand how to navigate the workplace. And he has to understand what behaviors are appropriate and what behaviors are inappropriate. And he has to understand why it is dangerous to do things like simp in the workplace and give women passes for unprofessional, irresponsible, reckless, and egregious behavior. When you when a woman gunches the workplace, she is selling her employer and telling you that she can carry her own weight. And you as a man have to make sure that she carries her own weight and is responsible for her part in the workplace. Simps, because they give women passes in the workplace, pretty much allow them a free pass and allow them to get paid for doing absolutely nothing. And that pretty much can slow down a business and keep it from being productive because every everything every time every minute a simp takes to do a woman's job not only t robs the company of money but robs the company of productivity because if he's doing her work he's not doing his work and I also talk about this in stop simping in the workplace because simping in the workplace costs businesses money it costs the productivity and it costs them time and this is something I, I, I learned watching many episodes of Gordon Ramsay's Kitchen Nightmares and Hotel Hell, where he shows you the dangers of having a simp in the workplace, which is a business that will wind up in decline. And all of these, all of these sources were used as references for my new ebook, Stop Simping in the Workplace. This book in the Simp series will help you lay a plan for your career, and it will help you understand how, what mistakes not to make in the workplace when you interact with women and I believe it will help you in the same way my other books in the Simp series have helped men all over the world and the feedback I got from those books like Stop Simping in the Stop Simping Why Men Don't Need Finance to Get Romance Manginas They Look Like Men But They Act Like Ladies and The Misadventures of Captain Savaho has been incredibly positive from men all over the world I've gotten letters from men and I've gotten comments from women on social media who've told me this book and this series of books has helped them improve their lives and the quality of their lives. And I believe Stop Simping in the Workplace will help many men and young boys who are about to enter the workplace learn how to improve, learn things that will help them get their career started on the right track and help them take their lives to the next level. You'll be able to pick up Stop Simping in the Workplace this Black Friday. Um, on Amazon.com and on Smashwords and other e-readers such as um, Apple iBookstore and Barnes and Noble. The reason why I'm releasing the book on Black Friday beca is because while women are out here going shopping, men can go out here and get one e-book and start laying a plan to start their careers or to really lay out a new course for their career and again, take their lives to the next level.